Hello, hello. <clears throat> I have made my fabulous appearance. By the way, check out the Discord. I also have put art there. Ooh, art! Cool, cool. All right, guys. Um, what's going on? What's up, Shulk Gamer? What's going on, Epic Storm Wolf? What's up? That's Yerky. I hope I pronounced that right, because you know yeah. English. You ain't my strongest, you feel me? Uh, and protocol, what's going on? So, I just got off work, okay? And I'm about to dive into this direct, you know? There, there are some unfortunate things, right? Okay, um, obviously I know the name of the character, which is demonstrated at the top. Um, so, th yeah, that's leaked. I don't know who the freak it, who the freak is Byleaf? Byleaf? Who, the, who is that? Don't tell me, guys, because this is all blind. Do not tell me. We're about to find this out. Um, but yeah, we're, we're about to get more into this. But yeah, it sounds kind of cool, man. It sounds like an awesome character. Sounds like a female. So, by leaf, by by leaf, by leaf. So yeah, about to hop right into this. You're looking for a G Max Flapple and failed. Rip, bro. Omega Law, Pepe hands. It's all right, bro. Keep trying. Keep trying. Yo, them shades looking, looking good on that character, bro. <laughs> I keep thinking you're subscribed, but you're not. You just got the channel points, which is pretty sick. You say it yourself so we can watch it. Oh, cool. All right, cool. So we could both be mad or really hyped for this. Let's see. You won't like who they are. I won't like who they are. Wait, they? Who are they? Are they more than one character? All right. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this direct. I've been dodging the internet as much as possible. It's really hard to dodge Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, and I IRL friends. So let's do this. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's react. Uh, before we do, okay, that's better. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way, dude. Is this Fire Emblem? Is this Fire Emblem? Bro, this is Fire Emblem. What? This is a joke, right? This is a, this is probably a joke. This is a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's, a prank. it's probably a prank. Let's let's, let's watch. Let's watch. Watch. Zach Ryan is a joke. To unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies. This has got to be a joke. What were you thinking, charging right into an enemy's? All right, low key. Well, obviously that's not her because this is not Bayleaf, Bayleaf, whatever this character is. Yo, Saltus? Yo, waifu? Trap. Mm. As you and I are one, I too am trapped within this void. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Are you prepared to die? Green eyes, baby. <clears throat> That's the character! Alright, so now, I, obviously this is a YouTube video, right? So it has the name of the character in the title of the video. I couldn't avoid that. But that's the character. That's the character right there. What? That is a generic Marth lookalike. What am I looking at? This is a Marth. How is this character going to be special or different? Is it? Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. It's DLC. Might be broken. 
We'll see. Let's just keep going. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... <sighs> there is no other choice. <sighs> you must join Smash. Bro, that is so whack, bro. Join Smash Brothers already. What? Why can't she join Smash, bro? Come on. Why can't she be Smash? Dude, that would be so hype if she joined Smash. I don't know what she does. I never played Fire Emblem, but come on, bro. What in the world are you waiting for? I am not happy about this. First of all, first of all Reggie lied. So joining Smash. Reggie lied. Even the darkness itself. They were not supposed to be any other. That looks just like, bro. That looks just like Marv, bro. If they were both butt naked, you couldn't tell the difference. You couldn't tell the difference. What is that? All right, impress me. This is like corn. Okay. Might be cool. Okay, what was that? Oh. Low tier. Low tier. Low tier. Nobody gets hit by Cloud's Forest Smash. Low tier. Smash player smells? That's true. They do. They smell <clears throat> good. But anyway, what is this? They don't. They, they, they really don't. Not all of them. They're getting better, though. They're getting better. Every generation, they're getting better, right? Low tier. I am not happy. Okay. F in chat, by the way, guys. F in chat. So you return, and sooner than expected. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? And you, you wield the sword as well? She what is so cute. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. I'll reward your cleverness this time. Oh, God. She's like better Paul Paulatina. How Ooh. is this? Weapon? Wait, what? Female version! Ooh, there's a female version of this character. That's typical. Okay. Oh. She can fly? Of anyone, oh, she looks high. To handle the hero's relics. Wait, they use different weapons? Strike with superior reach. That's kind of okay. It's not completely a sword character. It, it is technically a sword character. Unleash the blinding speed of Oh, uh, bow and arrow. So we got Link with no shield. With the sword. Of the sword. Each weapon she a what is? Yo. Yo. Bro, they look just like Marv, bro. Your will and mine be now as one. Ooh, final smash. To you, both sides of time are revealed. Through smash. All right, that looked that Show looks so whack. What was that? Okay, yay! Woo! That was so lame. So lame. Okay, cool. That was great. Fantastic. Woo! Poggers. <laughs> I think they're the only people laughing. Sure ain't us. Hi, uh, yes, there you have it. Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses is joining the battle. Fire Emblem Three Houses was released just last summer, so it's still very new. Even so, you'll soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Bro, bro, why did Sakurai, why did you do this to us? I don't understand. Were there not enough Fire Emblem characters? I don't... Unfortunately, I cannot stay for long. 
So I ended this little thing with song. The Makuna and Wop, it sure is a bop. Mm-hmm. And make your fish flop. But anyway, yeah, I won't be on here long either. By the way, 420. Ha ha ha. 420, chat. <laughs> Funny and original. Look at that. I did it on purpose. Not really. But anyway, uh, I'll complain about this later. But so far, this better impress me. Like, it's DLC. This might have some kind of cool mechanic. I don't know. But this better impress me. Because so far, this looks whack. Like, what? The... This release is planned for January 28th. You'll have instant access if you have the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass. And it will also be... Alright, fun fact. I go to court on the 29th. So this character comes out... In 24 hours of me going to my court date. So far, so good. Alright, keep impressing me. Yeah, the other seven, seven Pokemon characters and people aren't mad about that. Oh, I bet they're not. Weirdos. Bro, this is weird, bro. I bet you all the top players are, like, pissed. You haven't even played Three House? I haven't played it either, bro. The last Fire Emblem game I played was, like, Revelations or something. And now you played, like, two chapters and stop. So, all right. Be available for purchase Let's individually. In case you're not familiar with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, I'll explain a few things. So Thank don't you. worry. Thank you. Explain. First off, what is Fire Emblem? Fire Emblem is Smash, and Smash is Fire Emblem because there are so many goddamn characters. But yeah, explain. It's really hard to pronounce in Japanese. The producer said it's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you, so please be careful. Ah, 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 ah. The Not series funny. first entry launched in Japan on the Famicom in 1990. You could say it was a pioneer in the genre of tactical role-playing games. You might Warriors? be wondering what makes mm. it particularly tactical. Well, it's tactical in that it simulates combat. You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game. Or in other words, a game in which you advance units across a grid and battle. When we talk about tactical games of that era, there were lots of ones in which you command tanks, aircrafts, and so on. But Fire Emblem was unique because each unit was a specific character, sort of like in role-playing games. And impressed. Plus, something made it stand out from other Nintendo products. Characters could permanently die. <laughs> That's pretty direct language though, so perhaps we should just say they're sleeping with the fishes. But really, if a character fell in battle, you'd lose that unit. They'd be gone and you couldn't use them again. Recent entries in the series maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what have you, but a lot of games now allow strategic withdrawals, so to speak. In the older games, your units would really be gone, never to be mentioned again. Scary. The game's stories are told like chronicles of war, with increasingly distinct characters and engrossing scenarios. Several characters also appear in the Super Smash Bros. series, and six of the seven can use a counterattack. It's their down special. There's actually a reason for this. When I was considering how to incorporate Fire Emblem Fighters into Super Smash Bros. Melee, I thought it might be interesting to reflect the turn-based nature of the original game. First comes your opponent's turn. They attack, and you counter. Next comes your turn. And now, Fire Emblem Three Houses is the 17th game in the series. Fun fact, I did not know there are so many Fire Emblem games. 17! I think that's how many Fire Emblem characters are in Smash. Continue! People who aren't Japanese in particular might be thinking, 17 games? There are that many? Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. 
I'll give it a try. That's pretty impressive. There you go, 17. What a guy! <laughs> so, you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? I was counting in binary. This is zero. Fold this here and you get one, and then you get two, then two plus one equals three. So, this would be four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you... Sakurai, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you roll up in the hood and you count in binary, I'm pretty sure you won't feel your legs, chest, arms, because there will be bullets in those particular areas. I'm just gonna be honest with you, all right? Walk down the street in the hood and be like, I'm counting binary. Yeah, you're gonna get, you're gonna get, okay, anyway, anyway. You get 16, add one and you get 17. No, this is not the Crips. This is me counting in binary. Some, isn't it? <laughs> Got him. You can actually count up to 31 on one hand. And if you use both hands, you can count all the way up to 1,023. Or throw up some signs, you feel me? If you've given up counting the knots in the tatami mat, you could always give it a go. <laughs> Oh, let's do it now, chat. I'm bored. <laughs> now I'm just playing. Let's continue. What is Fire Emblem Three Houses? In Japanese, the male version of the main character is called Bereto, and the female version is called Beresu. But in English, they share the same name, Byleth. Byleth becomes a professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Once you've chosen a house, you guide them through their school life, and, well, you end up fighting the other houses. After a certain incident, five years pass, and you meet up with your grown-up students to battle against the other houses in their regions. It's a very sad game in which your former- Alright, who is that? Is that Black Eagle? Who is that? I'm gonna have to go to that house. I'm about to go to that house. Yo, Terry Beauregard? What the frick? Thank you for that follow. Allies become enemies, turn hostile, and try to kill you. To understand the concept of Fire Emblem, deer to deer? Houses, was that yellow? Early version of the game before its release. Blue, I've blue done the lions. Same thing before, with the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Yellow is deer. Okay. Because I couldn't wait until. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would never fear a deer, because in middle school. My school mascot was a wapiti. You know what a wapiti is? A wapiti is a deer. I didn't know what a wapiti was until I was almost out of middle school. Every other school had a cool name, like the cobras or the tigers. Ain't nobody scared of no god dang deer, okay? Especially when they're referred to as the Kennedy Wapatis. They're gonna be like, I don't know what the frick that is. We're gonna kill that school, bro. We got laughed at, bro. Ain't nobody scared of no deers. That'll be the last school I'll go to. Just saying. What they do, what, what do the deers do? They run in the street, they look at headlights, and they get bapped. Okay? Those are deers. All right? Those are deers. They ruin cars. That's what they do. They taste good, they ruin cars. Deers. To launch to experience it, or we'd have never made it in time. For that title, I borrowed an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas. Um, so far, my expressions of Bailey, Bayleaf, Bay, sound like Bayleaf from Pokemon. Um, it's looked like Marf, but we hadn't seen the moveset yet, so we're gonna give it a shot, okay? We give it a chance. It's not the worst character, right? I wasn't expecting a Fire Emblem character because reggie said there won't be any more same characters in the series that's already in the game so that means pokemon mario um zelda you know those characters but her for her last character her. fire emblem yeah thank you okay was not expecting this at all 
you know so i mean could, we could have got like minecraft steve thank god we could have got like other whack characters but I, i'll take it I, i'll take it i mean this character probably is really cool it has different weapons so i mean technically not a sword character but character with giant disjoints so sword character saw the ending Continue. and realized for the first time Hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. Dude, I would have been mad if they would have said, hey, we're just going to add five DLC characters from different series. Like, they should have said different series. They should have said, we're going to add five characters. That would give us hope that it could have been anybody that's already been represented in the other Smash games or different series from the games, blah, blah, blah. They should have started with this character and ended with Terry or yeah end it with terry i think that would be a better order so people don't end angry they would start angry and be like oh snap we got banjo oh snap we got terry oh snap we got um joker you know i think joker oh can you imagine if joker was the very last dlc character you know how much hype that would have been? I mean, granted, um, we wouldn't have MK Leo dominating with Joker. That could have been different. But I think MK Leo would probably been best with this character. You know, it's not funny how you kind of like retweet or revamp the orders of operation and things can act differently. We would have been pissed, but we'd have been over it by now. I mean, we were pissed at Corrin, but look at Corrin now, you know, <laughs> nerfed. So. I'm just saying, bro, like if they would have put Joker last, it would have been less tilting than this. Just in my opinion. But anyway, continuing. I did the same this time, but with there being three houses and multiple endings, it was really hard to get a feel for it. <laughs> you always want some new character, don't and of you? Of course, there weren't any walkthroughs I could reference. <laughs> yeah, you can look up Joker Swimsuit R on probably some Pornhub.com. I'm pretty sure you type in Joker swimsuit art, you probably get it. Okay, just go there. It's free, easy. That was the best comment I heard all day. Sick. Well, I mean, I just dropped the facts. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? We just dropped the facts in here. Hemlock friend fins. The game has multiple routes, and the outcome of each is very different. I will, yeah, agreed. All right, I'm sorry I keep pausing, guys. Hey, welcome to This Is Not A Twitch Anymore you know whatever i can pause and talk about stuff right um yeah i, I honestly think four would have been maximum the best right but the thing is like i don't know man I, I, it's okay the order here is, is is probably not the best scenario dealing with the fans i'm okay with this right i'm okay with this i think this character was not the worst thing and a lot of people are pissed but i don't care I legit said, I don't care who the fourth or sorry, the fifth DLC character was. All I care if they, if there were Minecraft, Steve Sans, um, or any other characters, like really degenerate, you know what I'm saying? Fire Emblem is like, okay, WTF, whatever, but it's not the worst case scenario. That's just what I'm saying. If the character is unique, um, and if the character is diverse enough, and it seems like so far, character doesn't have a counter. It has a different up B or whatever. So, I mean, I give it a shot. And plus, they have a waifu skin. So, come on, man. Look at the positives, guys. Don't complain about whatever. We're getting more characters. They already specified that. I don't know how many, but we're getting more characters. Could be two more, one more. I don't know. But, guys, this is not the last character. So, this is okay. It's fine. Your experience will vary depending on the route you choose, and many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles in the story. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. Yes, please, thank you. I haven't played the game yet, not going to, but... Before my demonstration, I should point out that when I did the Terry... Okay, last time I'm pausing at this juncture, I made a joke to myself that I was going to be the main, my streaming... Um, career was going to be based off the fifth DLC character, so if the fifth dlc character was a minecraft or a fortnite character i was going to be a full fortnite or minecraft character or a streamer right so that's all i'm gonna do 
So, since now Fire Emblem is the last DLC character, I'm gonna be mainly a, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, chat. Just kidding. Laugh. I mentioned that it was recorded a month. Who was gonna do that? But but this time we have to account for holidays and such. So we're filming two months in advance of this video's release. Right now, it's actually November. He does have four controllers. What I'm about to show you differ a bit from the finished version. As always, I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration. Fire Emblem Fortnite? Ooh. Here I go. Yeah, we'll give them ideas, please. Fortnite's dying. Okay. So, this is our new fighter, Vyla. Ew! We're gonna get more Fire Emblem music? I mean, it's not bad. It's just like, what? I was about to come slap you, silly. Oh. Okay. Sadly, they're lacking in mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin's, but that's about all you can say for them. Throws are not their <gasps> Slow character? Pog? Their grab lacks range. But actually, you could say that they're distance demon. The hero's relic they use changes depending on the direction you input with the stick. Each of the hero's relics is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. I seem they laggy. Like bones, and there's a reason for that. So I mean, they're not First, a good Wi-Fi character. Talk about the weapon Byleth uses for yeah. upward inputs: the Sword of the Creator. The Sword of the Creator here is Byleth's default. Ew! Weapon. What the freak is that sword, bro? Go ahead. Use it for flurry attacks right. and tilt attacks. Such it's a whip. As down tilt attacks, where it takes the form of a whip. Oh snap! That's cool. They also use the sword for dash attacks and other moves. Is it safe to have the sword in your back like that? Attack. They'll whip the sword upward to launch enemies in the air. Whoa, it's ZSS up smash! For their up air attack, they'll wave the whip sword overhead. The hit detection for this attack lasts for a relatively long time. And there's a kill? The special move is really something. The sword extends like this, allowing you to do things like this. One more time if y'all missed it. What? Like Yo, that looks sick. Along you to so Joker's up B, this. but cooler. It was pretty terrifying how I knocked him into the air with that attack. What would it look like and if you shielded? Oh, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Bro, Snake, you're done. Lodomac, DK, you're done. I'm just gonna jump below it and just up. That's so free, bro. I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's broken. That's broken. That's bro. It didn't kill Kirby at 100, but that's gonna give up a lot of characters. Continue. You can do it. Ah! Awful thing. Sorry, I'm just kidding. This. It's cool. It's cool. It's all right. That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. You can combo into it. Wait. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Exceed that percentage. Wait, he goes in the free fall. Exceed that percentage and you'll need to be careful. You may find it helpful to mid-air dodge. I've already shown this, but you can also use it to latch onto edges. So that's the up special. Okay. Now for the sideways inputs. This is Erdfar, the same name as the weapon from Celtic mythology. First, we'll go through the forward and back air attacks. As you can see, that's some range. Like so. Marth's air attack keeps opponents in check too, right? Ooh, Sakurai, yo, yo, space is so good. If Byleth does the same thing, you'd win out, so you should be able to beat it. All right, let's see show. Next, the side smash attack. This also has a long range. It'll connect even from here. Yeah. This also has a long range. It'll connect even. From Bro, that's like corn for a smash. Bro, look at that. Here. It looks like it has a temper on it. Also, if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. And if you've knocked an opponent down, the side attack won't hit unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. Okay, so it takes skill to play By the way, character. The tip of the lance is more powerful. 
The shaft part is weaker. Clearly. So it's okay. not suited to close combat. Smart, because it it's a lance. It won't launch opponents far. Or spear, whatever. Okay. That's Yo, what's up, Silent Shoshi? You want to hit with the blade part aimed upward. That's cool. Downward in this case. Bro, that Marvin ain't Tekken. Next, the side special move. Yeah! Byleth will simply swing the lance like this. But again, it has excellent reach. For example, even when your opponent is at this distance, it'll still hit. Ooh, cool. All right. You doing it in the air? Actually, what does it look like in the air? Smash attack to charge forward a little. Like this. But as you'd expect, it can be easily shielded, so be careful. Okay. Use it in midair and you'll carve up a large area. Returning to the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. So this complements it well. Although you'll be vulnerable when you land. Okay, so it looks like a nair, but it's the side special. Um, fair and back air are really precise on how they hit their opponent. So, okay, all right, I can flop with that. Okay, I like that. Now, for the downward inputs. For these... Um, Stylish Yoshi, I'm going to upload this to YouTube later. You will hear my anger about that, like, the first four minutes. But continuing. Pilot will use an axe called Emir. It's named What's going on, Twitching? It appears in Ugaritic Myth. First, the down air attack. I'll it's talk about it really after strong. this video. Okay. You can try the meteor effect with this attack. Next is the down smash attack. A heavy swing of the axe back and forth. Oh, and that looks so slow. See, a great deal and for the down special, Byleth channels all their energy into Is that Hatchet Man? Whoa! 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 Is that Hatchet? Bro, that is legit stolen from Hero. That is Hatchet Man. Channel all energy into a string of strike. That is Hatchet Man. That is a ripoff, bro. What the frick? Devastating strike. It's a bold move, similar to the Falcon Punch. Yo, Dylan, thank you for that follow. Anyway, peace out. When all right, Exiles, have a, a, a great player. one. Dude, all right. Again, I'm going to say this one more time. I do not hate that they added a Fire Emblem character. I just hated that Reggie lied to us at, I think it was December 7th. It was December 7th. Reggie got on stage and we're like, hello, everybody. I'm Reggie and I'm here to kick your <laughs> No, but no, like he legit said that there will be no more, you know, copy characters from the series, right? So no more Fire Emblems, no more Pokemon, no more Mario, Zelda, etc. Then we get this, and it's the last character, so we're like, what the fudge, bro? I mean, we got another batch of characters coming. Great. But this is not how you end it, bro. Like, come on, man. Again, it's better than Minecraft Steve, better than some Fortnite character, you know, any of those joke trash characters. So I will take it over them. But this is not how you do it, bro. Like... You just pissed off 80% of the Smash community. All the cows are just like, hey, 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 fire them. <laughs> and everybody else is like. So like, it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's technically not Fire Emblem, even though it says Fire Emblem in a game title, but technically it's not Fire Emblem. It's Fire Emblem, bro. Like, it's Fire Emblem. which allows you to withstand an attack. One more thing. I I'm sorry I keep pausing. Um, I I'm not sorry, actually. Fire Emblem is very popular in Japan. I'm not surprised about this. I am not surprised. By the way, that has super armor, if you guys missed it. But it's very popular in Japan. I th th that makes sense. Like, we all clearly knew. I didn't think this was going to be like a the fifth DLC character, but this character or the series is too big for Smash not to capitalize on it. So it makes sense. So, from a standpoint of uh, popularity, sure. Okay. 
fine. Perfect. But a lot of people do not understand, especially if they're not Fire Emblem diehard fans, they do not understand they see this as a Marf 2 or Marf 7, Marf 8, whatever. How many Marf? Magical Marf, Dragon Marf, um, Female Marf. Now we got three house Marf. Like, you know, come on, guys. Look on the bright side. The character is going to probably be really cool. And Lucina's probably better. But let's continue. Just so you know, if you execute a Falcon Punch at about the same time... All right, have fun at work, bro. It plays out like this. Yo, that just kit. Well, the Blast Zones are really small. But that's kind of cool. To the super Armor effect, you super Armor is kind of sick. Unless you get grabs. Okay, well, that's fair. Because the Super Armor is Another not invisible. Is that it lets you pass through platforms. Oh, King K roll? You can breeze past platforms like this to reach a lower area. Yo, I'm thinking you to FD, you bro. Jump, but you could use it as a surprise attack. Mark of a bow. Also, you can turn around during the move. The swing takes a while. I think this character's so kind of cool. Runs behind you during the move. You can quickly change direction. Yeah, the move that looks good so far. It can be hard to land a hit with this move. It can be really effective when used against a group of That opponents. killed Bowser at 70. Plus, even if you fail on to battlefield. Hit, any opponents on the ground nearby will still be launched a little. Okay. It has a ground hit box. Launches them. By the way, earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters' moves. I don't recommend using this down special against fighters from the Fire Emblem series because you'll just get loads of counters. It hits with that much power in a single attack. Counters no can DI. actually multiply the power of blocked attacks, and using easily anticipated attacks like this could just get you hit by counter after counter. I like how he perfectly goes over that, like, shack Next, over there. You have the neutral moves. The Ooh, this is pretty. Is called Fail Not, which shares its name with the bow from the Knights of the Round Table. Hey, 12 damage. It only appears Broken. in a few neutral moves. You've got the neutral air attack. This attack is sim similar to a move of Pitts and other fighters like him. It lets you spin the weapon around. It's also easy to create certain combos with it. <laughs> hmm. What's another character that has a, a similar move just like that that spins around the character and is really easy to combo into? Hmm. Jigglypuff. And with the neutral special, you'll let loose an arrow. It seems pretty straightforward, right? Right. But there are a few noteworthy aspects to this bow. First, the biggest difference between this bow and Link's is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. You can't release it partway through the charge, so when it does fire, the arrow travels at high speed. It's also very powerful. That said, you can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. You can also change direction while in That's the stance. That's cool. It works up until this point, but... Pits near. If you keep holding the button... Yo, what's good, Sinos? Um... I mean, you, you got to watch this video. It's going to be on YouTube, so just watch the video whenever it's posted. But it goes into all my descriptions of this character. So far, I'm liking it. The only thing I don't like is a Fire Emblem character, but outside of that, it's pretty solid. You unleash a powerful arrow that looks like a beam of... Where's my command? I like that. Of light. You can perform this move by keeping the button held down. You charge up power like so. Charge a bit more and then fire. 30%! But again, you'll need to take care when using this move. For one, when you've powered up the move to its max, there's no way to cancel out of it. Not even with the shield button. In other words, you're committed to firing it. Which so means see, a situation like this is pretty terrible. Once you've entered the stance, you won't be able to. You're dead. It, which means it's quite the risky attack to use against fighters who have a move with a reflector effect. But you could always just aim into the fray, as it is, after all, a long range move. Can you not turn around? Then you deal a sudden blow to opponents. So you can use you it as a mix up. Carefully when using this projectile weapon. 
Byleth's mm. final smash is called Progenitor God, Ruptured Heaven. In the original game, there's a move called Ruptured Heaven. This is an enhanced version. <laughs> That's kind of kawaii. As like you can that. see, you team so up cute. with a mysterious Sothis and launch an attack together. The special is kind of whack, but it's cute. Now, let's talk about the color variations. It's set Ooh, colors, so that yes. the default and odd-numbered color variations are male, while the even-numbered ones are female. However, the third, fourth, and fifth colors are, as you can see, reminiscent of the house leaders. Okay. Those of you who played the original game will of I'm course digging that red one. I'm referring to. The lions, color is eagles. Based on Sothis, who you just saw earlier. Ooh. And the seventh and eighth variations have a different hair color, which is based on based on something that occurs in the course of the original game's story. Did no spoilers. In the final smash. By the way, twitching thank you for that host. Next, I'll introduce the stage. For this one, we of course tried to recreate the place not legal, spend right? most of the game. Garrig Mock Monastery. Not legal. This is how Garrig Mock Monastery is laid out in the original game. From these, we chose to have it cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, bridge, and cathedral, yep. all in one stage. Definitely not legal. It's the type of stage that rotates through different areas, such as these four. Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. Show me some combos! The first area is the marketplace. I think this is where a lot of people come to do their shopping. The guests that appear here are students of the Blue Lion's house, Dimitri, Dedu, and Ingrid. Not Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Their names are a bit difficult to say. They're largely from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Since I wasn't gonna say Dudu. That means they have a monarchy. For that reason, I guess you could say Dimitri. He might be Dudu, but I don't know. He had quite a difficult life and may or may not end up with just. She's like guy. bland. He's an unfortunate one, that one. Dimitri looking kind of all right. On either side. In the original game, these are important booths where you buy all sorts of things. But uh, here you can break them. You see. Rude. If you do break them. The stage will expand to the left and right. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> ah, Sakura is so and funny! In the you can see the gatekeeper. <laughs> you often pass through this area in Fire Emblem Three Houses, and you end up talking All these jokes. a lot. Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious platform. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop, you'll come crashing back down. We broke what? through the ceiling and slammed into All the right, that's a little weird, champ, but okay. And the guests in the reception hall are... Yeah, who's, this is where I'm talking about right here. The Black Eagles. Take mm. note, it's not spelled Edelgard. They're from the Adresian Empire. And as such, they embrace their military might. Okay, girl, work it. Mm -hmm. Edelgard is one of the... There you go, you bad. She knows she bad. Look at her. This is the, this is the house I'll hop in. Take, right here. She'll go through some terrible ordeals. Uh huh. Black Eagles You'll for life, baby. There are prominent chandeliers above the stage. It's possible to knock them down. How'd you get up there? Oh, that's kind of rude. However, Byleth can't actually reach it, even though it's their stage. You can reach it with other fighters, though. <laughs> so it's nice if you can work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. And you can knock it down. Also, I mean, wait a minute, real quick. This Sakurai just confirmed up throw to up B. Launched up, or perhaps by using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. Interesting. Okay, and you can knock it down. I, I, also, I will get all the waifus, dog. I'm all about it. Like so. Just like well, what's going on, Savage? Kazakh in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. 
right next, next place the bridge the camera rotates 90 degrees creating this long area wow motion sickness it's very Thanks. wide indeed all right so this is where the yellow lions are at huh it's similar to the bridge of elden stage the guests are from the golden deer i meant did i say yellow lions i meant to say deers deers i'm sorry mustard deers claude mustard and lawrence <laughs> my bad my bad they belong to the lesser alliance Oh, Hilda got the cute. Oh, okay. Because it's an alliance right, dears, of many noble families, you could say that they have a wide assortment of members. And Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. Hey, Fire got the waifus, bro. I should play this game. Both Claude and Yo, protocol thing for that host. I really appreciate that. Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. Dear to dear. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name overlap. The naming process must be tough. Hey, it looks like the Pegasus is busy training. As for the bridge's design, it's just a long pathway, so many plain and simple. Are tight. They're you also taking Reggie's quote out of context. He never said the same series wouldn't have representation. He said newcomers will have never been introduced in the series. He was hinting at everyone is here, because every new. I guess everyone is new? Okay, um, I'm gonna go back to that Reggie clip because I really thought he said that characters or I guess newcomers would be obviously from different series, which is, I mean, fine. Um, and again, I'm not tight about this per se. I think this is better than most other people's like list. Like I'd rather have this than Goku, honestly. I'd rather have this than Minecraft Steve and Fortnite and all this stuff. Like this is okay. I mean, as long as the characters are different and enough where they feel like not echoes, I'm okay with this. And this character is already proven to be really cool and different. First of all, you have a Fire Emblem character that doesn't have a counter. Like, that's already broken by itself. Like, that's already, like, different from all the other Fire Emblem characters because they're known for their counters, right? Because of JRPG or RPGs or whatever. So, that's cool, too. You have a tether. You have Hatchet Man. <laughs> you have like different weapons. Like this is pretty cool. So again, never played it, but I mean, you can expect plenty like of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. I feel like we we all seen this coming. Like this you character was gonna be DLC regardless, really because Fire Emblem is, is a good game. Like in Japan, perfect. it's very popular in Japan, and of course it's popular over here. But you know. I don't want that spin. They should have the not let, let that spin. Only with some platforms you can pass through. The guests appearing in the cathedral are Seteth, Flane, and Rhea. There's Seteth, who appears to have an extremely strong bond with his sister, Flane. She seems to be under the protection of him and Rhea, who you can see fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. All three have character quirks related to their true identities. I feel that Flame might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. This is a simple area of the stage. All it has are these platforms. Being the last area, it may be a place where some intense battles will be waged. It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes? Hmm. Okay. Pretty long. Okay, today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout the ages. That'll give what us is this? five players per side. All right, here we go, Joker. Looking cool, jo Joker! And Hero! Gee, we really made a lot, huh? Banjo! By now, I think you know what I'm doing. But basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the professor here. He's not gonna do it. But as expected, it's going to be a pretty tough battle. Let's go, Sakurai! I'm using I can get my hands on. It's not going to land that easily. Uh -oh, what was this computer on? Bad. Three? Watch out, Finnegan! Alright, nice DI. I better keep my distance. Ooh, that Robin, bro. I'll use this chance to attack. Got him. Put him bombs. That's scary. He's invincible for a moment here. <laughs> Yo, Sakurai out here Lots gaming. Ouch. Do a grab combo. Grab. 
What's the frame data? Perfect shield at that, huh? Good one. Yeah, this character is slow, like this, bro. Like this, or like so. No anti air, huh? There. The soccer ball connected. Let's see some Nair. I will see some Paul Tanner combos. Good. There's mom. You're in a Can good we spot, see mom. a fight without items? You're not showing off the character. You're showing uh, off broken items. Like, what Gardevoir. is this? Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this point, it doesn't matter if Gardevoir is there or not. Yo, y'all saw that triple dash attack? Broken. I feel like the enemy might get this smash ball. Oh, Marv almost got... killed. Oh, really Marv? I can't waste the chance. <laughs> There's another smash ball. Yes, got it. Now, what are you charging up for? Woo, 30%. Let's more. go. Whack. That went through the level. Go on. You can take the hammer, but it's mine. Although, I'm scared I might get hit with a counter in this state. I hit him. I was trying to fight using Byleth's abilities alone, but what matters is that I won. Good game. It can be fun to play like this, especially in tag team, so I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. The end. Ooh, songs. Okay, cool. Bring it back. Now, about the additional music. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Our selection this time has been made taking those existing tracks into consideration. Eleven songs are being added. This includes an arrangement of the main theme in both Japanese and English. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. We're also adding in a new spirit board. Okay, more spirits, of course. Yeah, yeah. I should have seen this coming. Sothis is legend class. Also, there's a new classic mode route, a heroic legacy, which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series' history. The final battle is against Master Hand and Crazy Hand, but you'll find that something pretty amusing happens, so look forward to that. Okay. Now for the Me Fighter costumes. Please take a look. <gasps> Me Fighters! Guys, this is what we're here for! Me Fighters! This is what we came here for! All right, let's see it. What we got? Yo, Altair? Oh, let's go, baby. That's worth my 75 cents right there. Let's go, baby. Ooh, let's go. Top tier. Mmm, rabbits. Oh, it's over. Yo, look at, yo, let's go. I'm buying that. Yo, you saw. Top tier. Top tier. Let's go. Mega Man. Bro, that's looking clean, bro. Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Battle Network. Bro, that is sick. Bro, y'all saw that combo? Mmm. Let's get it. No way! Cuphead? <laughs> Yo, he had a Cuphead! And music tracks too? Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. All right. Memes aside, those outfits are pretty sick. Pretty sick. 35 ish, January 28th. Yes, sir. So we got what? 
The weeks. time we're releasing a Cuphead costume. And for those of you who purchased the Cuphead costume, an additional song will be added. It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. Mm -hmm. That little plant guy? I yeah. hope you enjoy these as well. After purchasing a costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. If someone has created a Mii Fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. And now, on to the amiibo. <gasps> Dark Samus and the Richter? Dark Samus looks pretty good, doesn't it? Dark Samus and Richter are planned for release I mean, Richter. on Friday, January 17th. Let me say Richter. Sorry. I always say that. 17th? Bro, that's tomorrow! And now, with the addition of Violet, the fighter's pass is it, finally still, complete. Most people think that's the lineup was Joker, Hero, Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard, and Violet. Bro, out of these... Okay, look, guys. Out of these DLC characters, Banjo looks like the odd one out. Everybody else are, like, legit humans, except for Banjo. Like, he was heavily requested, but he looks so weird here. From more than 70 fighters, only five have been added. But I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right from the start, we intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics. That 14 k rule. There really were a lot of new mechanics, weren't there? Yes. When we add a new fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements a little different. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. Dang! Dang! That was done real quick. We'll continue to release more DLC fighters down the line. I had I mean, thought that one or two might suffice, but, well, have a look. Okay. Okay, we knew this. Woo! We getting five more characters? Six? Looks like there will be one more fighter than last time. <laughs> All right, predictions right here. All right, you guys ready? Number six, Shrek. Number seven, Tetris block. Number eight, hat kid. Number nine. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Laura like Croft. One more fighter than last time. <laughs> Yo, six. For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume Two. It will be available for pre-purchase on the date shown, so please keep an eye out. And now that it's official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now, and I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. We got a hit! Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why and purchase it. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. Even if I receive many requests regarding potential candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider them. All right, you guys hear that? You guys hear that? All the characters has been already figured out. All right, they're done, which means that no more surprise characters. Like, they're done. They're, they're final, okay? So come on, give me Hat Kid. Please, give me Hat Kid. They made it to the Switch. They're cute. They, they're just adorable. This kid. Hat Kid! Hat Tom, I'm wearing your shirt. But anyway, you know. But I still hope you'll look forward to it. We're also including a bonus with Fighters Pass Volume 2. Last Ooh. time, it was a Rex costume. But this time, here's what we have. It's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter, the ancient soldier gear from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's sick. This will not be for sale individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighter's Pass Volume 2. That's clean. Yeah, it's clean. 
It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Fighting game? I don't fighting game! know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but I guess it's seen as a fighting game around the world. Just kidding! Jabated! Seems like Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total sales. However, I'm not sure if this is accurate. There were five versions of Street Fighter 2, or six to seven if we really want to get into the weeds. Plus, there's the arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems, so I don't know if that's been accounted for. Also, I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. So, who knows? But when it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. He put a Although, lot of effort into it, he deserves it. If it can really be called just a fighting game. I feel like it's become more than a fighting game, some sort of celebration of gaming or something else entirely. I agree. Celebration. Also, Huzzah! I feel a deep attachment to the five DLC fighters. <laughs> the first fighters pass just wrapped up, but it was decided that there would be more DLC, which means no breaks for me. <laughs> I My man never sleeps. Hard, so I hope you can continue to support us. That's it. Thank you. Bye, Dad. All right, guys. Okay. I'm um, not going to lie. I was extremely disappointed at the start. Right? Extremely disappointed at the start. But... Um, because I didn't know it was going to be a Fire Emblem character, I was assuming it was going to be a character from a different series. But, given how cool, diverse this character looks, um, I like it. I know nothing of Three House, but it looks like a decent character. Doesn't look overpowered, doesn't look OP. Um, don't think it's going to be the best Fire Emblem character. You know, obviously, I think Lucina, Marv probably still have the edge. Chrom, Roy, you know, Matt, whatever. Might be better than Robin, for sure. But we'll, we don't know. Um, But the, the bad thing about this character is that this character doesn't really have a good way of getting in. And that's a problem. So it's going to lose to zoners. This character is going to suffer to zoners. Like Samus, Young Link, Toon Link, Snake. Well, that was debatable because I feel like this character in Advantage versus Snake is really insane. But, yeah. And you have the space with this character, too. Like, you have the space with this Forest Smash. And I don't know if shooting this at max range is safe. Uh, maybe. But if you parry, probably not. But, yeah. I think this character has really cool potential to be um, really decent and very fun. So, um, yeah. I, I enjoy it. So, um, that's my two cents. Uh, I did seem a little peeved at the first four to five minutes of this video, but I mean, I, I think it's good. I think it's, it's going to be a fine character. Okay. So, um, with that said, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, I know I got to watch that replay from T Dow. It's 40 something seconds and then we can hop off from here. All right. All right. Peace.